so we're going to we're going to cook something tonight. Look how big these are big ums. They are we big need, mushrooms. We only need Those one. are beauties. These are thick. I had an idea, and this is what it's going to come out to be tonight. Uh, basically, right now, Rich is cleaning the mushroom caps. Yeah, you gotta get all this. See all this? You don't and want that. I'm gonna do hamburger stroganoff. You're what? You're stuff, stroking what? Hamburger stroganoff to stuff those ah. with. It's gonna be so good. Cool. Here we go. Now, Ready? We do that over pasta. Remember that back in the day? Okay, so tonight's. On tonight's menu. Yeah, what's on tonight's menu, babe? Uh, I just showed you the clip of Rachel making those, uh, cleaning those mushroom caps. Oh yeah, I do that. Uh, I got a, I got like about a pound of. Well, it's, you can tell it's not the the best um, kind of meat. It's the it's the chubs you get, you know. Oh yeah. And I mean, there, it's, it's still good. It's better for your value. You just chop it up after yeah, you buy it. It's still good. Portion it out, I guess. Um, so is that about is a pound? A, it's a little over a pound, but pound and a half the pound. reason is it shrinks down anyway okay. to nothing because yeah. I'm going to have to drain the fat out of this. So I basically don't do much to What this. are you making? What's the name of this dish? This is this is going to be a hamburger stroganoff stuffed mushroom cap. Mm, are we putting and, cheese in it? Well, you can if you want. Or melting it on top? I mean, yeah, you can if you want. Or are you making uh, a sauce? I'm making a sauce with it. Oh, okay, good. All this, you got the oh. sour cream. I love that. Uh, you got the onions. Okay, good. You got garlic. You got parsley, pepper, and Any... I'm going to use the bouillon. the, the uh, beef bouillon in there. Do Actually, you use any um, right cream that soup stuff? Oh no, no. Okay, okay. That will add carbs, and oh, we're okay. trying to to cut the it's carbs in it. But they're gonna be soft. Oh, and oh, that's half and half in milk. No, no, half, half and half, but okay. yeah, a little, little milk. Cream cheese? Nope. Okay. A little milk. Okay. That's, I don't have that out, but I will oh. get that. Okay. But so for now, what I do? Oh, it smells good already. That's a really good one. Oh, wreck. yeah, Mark got a new one on Amazon. I don't want to wreck this pan, so I'll use a nice wooden you spoon. You know, you can do a pan review. If you really like this, put, put the link down, because uh, you so got far. a really... You got a good deal on this. I did get a good deal. This is actually a stainless steel with a... And it comes a, with a lid and a rubber spatula, wherever it is. I don't, I don't know, know what the name of it is. I have to figure it out. I'll put it down in the uh, the link down below. Yeah, it's but dirty, it, man. Look at this. It's, mm. Yeah, you have to put the handle on, but it comes with a, a really nice lid and spatula. And it also came with what else? That's awesome. Oh, was a sponge and everything. So wow, it, it you got a whole set. A whole cool. set for All this right. pan. And it's a stainless steel with a with a with the non-stick coating on the inside. Right. You know, or, we've had our old one for like years, and it finally just yeah. kind of was crapping out. And Mark just bought another one. You well, can I'll really put it like down it. in the description. Yeah. yeah, and we'll do that. I'm sure uh, we're not the only ones out there that have crappy pans that just yeah need a new one, but they just never do. I'll I'll, I'll do we'll that because link, guess guys. what? This this pan is pretty good. It's like I said, the outside stainless steel. You know when you buy the cheap pans and they, Look at that. the pans right? Are... When you when you buy the cheap pans and they bubble in the middle because yeah. it's aluminum. Yeah, no bubbles. It's a stainless here. steel, so okay. it's good. And it cost. It was on sale. I don't know what the regular price is, but well, we'll uh, the, put in the link the, and the, if anybody's interested, they could go yeah. check it out. It might be on sale when I, they go look I got at it. it for, so. I got it for nineteen bucks. Wow, with all yeah, that with all, extra with, with the spatula cool. lid. Everything mm -hmm. that's a pretty good price for, awesome. for a 12. This is a 12 inch pan. So. Oh, is it 12? Yeah, 12 inch pan. It looks bigger than that. No, 12 inch. Awesome. Well, it's doing its job. Look at that. It sure is. All right. Look See you in a minute. Mark made a good point. What? Look how fast it oh, heated up. You well, just barely turned it on 30 yeah, seconds ago. It's because it's stainless steel, not aluminum. Uh, so it, it, it heats up real quick. I had to turn it down because it, it was like too, mm. too hot. So. Oh, that's a yeah. good. That's a good bonus to have. Yeah. No wasting time. Ain't got no time got to no, do that. No, no, no time for that. No time for that. Fast, just but the nice thing is, okay, I, I, I know this is sound like a commercial, but it's not. <laughs> We're um, just the nice talking. thing is about stainless steel uh, mm -hmm. that, like, well, we have stainless steel pans down there, mm -hmm. and if you're cooking ground beef in it, it sticks. So with this, this has the coating on the inside, so you don't oh, have to nice. worry about it. That should last for a while. Yeah, I oh. hope. Yeah. I hope so. So far, so good. Okay, I'll be right back. Used it for about a week. So I'm just I'm just cutting up some some onions to put in there, uh, dicing up some, and basically, I I don't need all this onion. 
and I have that off the heat because that's another thing that pan does. I kind of, I mean, I know this sounds like an infomercial, and I'm not trying to because I just got the pan, but it it, uh, it stays hot for a really long time. So I'm basically just getting all this ready. What, what, yes, and then I'll, and then we can put that then back you get on. Get your the, baggie to put the rest of the uh, yeah. Thing and then away. we can put that back on. The, Back on the heat, and go the onions. Yeah, and then I'm gonna cut up the, and dice up the um, garlic. Garlic, put that in a sack. And then are you gonna season this with salt and pepper? Um, yeah, well, no, um, I'm not gonna do salt. Uh, but bouillon I will do, and pepper. I, I will do pepper. <laughs> Beef bouillon and pepper. Uh, a little bit more bouillon in there. I mean, I know, the thing is I put some in there, right? But I'll put a little bit more because of the fact that mm. I didn't see you put any in yet. I, I did. Okay. You were filming it. When I, I didn't see it. Was cooking it. I put a little bit. I didn't put a lot, but I did because what happens is, is after you drain all that fat off there, mm -hmm. um, you actually lose some salt content. Lose the salt content a lot. So yeah. So I'll, I'll put more in there. Yeah. Mm. Yummy. And you got some parsley over there and garlic. I got some parsley, in. but I'll put right. that in. Oh. I need milk. That's what I need. Right now? And you're gonna scorch it? Oh, not yet. Okay. No, but I will need it. Okay, okay, okay. When okay. I do the sour cream, because the parsley will go in with the sour cream. I'll okay. do the garlic here in just you're a little bit. You're gonna need a spoon for the sour cream, too. I will. Yeah. That's fine. Over there. But this has to go for a while. Saute the onions, get them soft. And actually, let me put the lid on. That'll help. Yeah. Ta-da! Beautiful. That fits nice. We're at the point now. No we're, return. We're going to put some. Oh, oops, I dropped the garlic. Smell food. that. Um, some garlic in here. That's a lot of garlic. Look at that pile. Wow. It's about three cloves. Um, you don't have to put three cloves. It's just me. I like garlic. I like garlic. Uh, so stir that in there. I dropped the cloves. Okay. Get that stirred in. We're going to start adding the. Other ingredients? Other ingredients like sour cream here. It stirs real good. There's nothing sticking on this, baby. No, no. Mm -hmm. I love brand new pans. I know, they're they neat. They work so good. Well, I did it because the last one, I was trying to cook eggs the other day, and it was like... They were all sticking? They were sticking to yeah. that. Sorry, like, babe. That's crap. So hey, what are you adding? Some sour cream? So, sour cream. Do you need to turn the heat down? Not or yet. Do you want it still on whatever that turn is? Turn down a little bit. Okay. This pan does run, run hotter. I, mm -hmm. I, I noticed that than the aluminum pan. So we need more than that in the sour cream department. That was just left over from the other day, so here we go. All new. So stop staring at that. It's gonna make people dizzy. <laughs> That's a lot of sour cream. Yeah, there wow. you go. You gotta Don't make it say we don't know how to jizz it up because look at that, would you? I'm not even sure how much carbs you get. Let's see. What's the what's the carb? <laughs> uh, you get uh, total sugars and this. You know, by what? <laughs> Two it's tablespoons. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, and this, yeah, you put a lot. Uh, there is no carbs. Well, there's no carbs in sour oh, wait, cream. Carbohydrates, Two grams per serving. Per, there's like per, ten servings. Yeah, that's a lot. So two times 10 yeah. is 20, divided by two is 10. We'll get 10 a piece if we eat this whole thing, which I doubt we eat the whole thing. No, no, we're gonna stuff. So that's we not go. bad, 10, 10 a there piece. There you go. Yeah. And I put like about, I would say a quarter cup or so of milk in there. Okay. That's it. Do you put and Parmesan cheese or anything in this? No. Okay, just check. No, it's just, this is, this <laughs> is. <laughs> Parsley. You, know, you can put Parmesan if you want. I mean, you could do that. If you wanna like give it a little. Mrs. Dash, to spice it up no. if you wanted. No, no. Oh. Why does it with you and Mrs. Dash? I love Mrs. Dash, she's my friend. All right, this is what I do because this gives it more of a beefy flavor. Put some more bouillon in there. There you go, see, add oh, yeah. that. Beautiful, oh, yeah. babe. All right. Parsley and some fresh cracked black pepper. Yeah, what I do want to put in there though, babe. with your suggestion, well, is one? some Parmesan. Oh, okay. Just a little bit, not a lot. Mark's not listening like to my, that's weird. Not like when I'm usually doing he likes Parmesan. I just, I that's why I was asking, like, are you going to put Parmesan in there? Well, yeah. I wasn't going to, but I thought, yeah, sure. Why not? It up. I like it. Why not? And that adds a little bit of salt. There you go. Yeah, okay, there's yum. plenty in there. With the bouillon and stuff. All right, it's um, going to reduce and simmer that. for a little bit. Oh, what should we do with the mushrooms? Should we... Um, Nothing. 
pre yeah. you wanted to pre do them in the oven just to get oh, them soft because they're really yeah, maybe, fat. Maybe let's, let's do it this time in the oven and we'll just boil them when it's time to eat them. Okay. So we'll do it right before. Let's try. But this we'll do this and then you're going to do a side of carrots, yeah. right? Show the bag of carrots over there, it's like that. I'm starting the oven. Yeah. This is beautiful. Let's do this. Let's steam these bad boys. Yeah, they're already. Oh done. yeah, that smells good. Uh, that added a nice little. Mm -hmm. Aroma punch okay. to that. Okay. That's nice. All very right. Nice. Very nice. All right, we're gonna put them in here for a little bit and get them started. Okay. I am ready for this. All right. So we got these mushroom caps here. You did them differently this time. Um, I like them when I fry them in the pan better. These, these were were baked in the oven because they were thick. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I I I think they get a better crisp on them when you fry them. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Next baking. time we won't do that. Anyway, it's, 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 it's still gonna look. Good here. So we got this look. We're gonna beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff into the mushroom, the mushroom yeah, cap. A, yeah, nice. It's holding its shape very well. Oh, it is. It's a very thick beef stroganoff. And we've got some um, herbed um, butter and steamed carrots to go yeah. inside too. First of all, what I'm gonna do though. Oh, you wanna melt some cheese? Uh, I'm gonna put a slice of uh, Swiss on there. Oh, I love some cheese. I'm gonna melt it. Let's I'll melt be right to back after this. Okay. Okay, right. there's the beauty with the... A minute of Swiss cheese melted on top. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm gonna take, I, I just, I know that spoon is I dirty, but... I don't care. But, yeah. It's not These are just dirty, it's just... in my steam basket that I've had since the mm -hmm. 80s. I love it. And, um... Oh, that put, smells good. I put some, okay. um, herbs. That's beautiful. Um, like, there's some sage and parsley, garlic. Yeah, Lottie pretty. seasoned sauce. So, All right, let's try it, babe. Here is the beef right. stroganoff stuffed, stuffed portobello. portobellos. Mushroom caps. And, and usually, Carrots like, a lot of times, these, these will cook better on very, the stove top. Very but thick. It's a very thick mushroom. But. Not all mushrooms are this thick, but this one is. That's a big bite, babe. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh. That good? Well... You know how mushroom it is with we've we've done beef stroganoff with mushrooms, right? That was a huge bite you took. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're so chewy. Yeah, because the mushroom is a little chewy. I know. Um, That's why I said it was big. It was thick. I'm gonna cut mine in teeny pieces. Mm -hmm. But we've done beef stroganoff with um, well, uh, noodles and stuff. Never done it with the mushrooms. Yeah. And this we is do good. those mushrooms with so all kinds of You guys can put it over that, but carrots. this is for mushrooms. So. And this is the And how do you like carrots? the carrots? Let's see if they're good. Mm, they're carrots. Mm. Carrots are always good. They're I love herbaceous, yeah. and, and, the there's and there's and butter and garlic in them. Butter and garlic. Yeah, it's delicious. So I hope you guys try this. Mm. You can do Simple. anything in a mushroom cap. Just keep that in mind. No matter what you make in this pan, it can always go in one of those. Okay? Yeah, you can do a lot. And then just make a side of whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Green, yellow. But this is good. Whatever. Um, this here alone, I just eat by itself. Okay. Well, I'm gonna mm. save some for me. Bye. I'll grab this. I'll be right back. See you later. Later. Tomorrow.